Have you ever gone to bed thinking you were doing everything right for your health, yet woke up tired, puffy, or aching in your lower back with no idea why? What if I told you that the real damage to your kidneys doesn't happen during the day, but while you sleep every single night, millions of Americans are unknowingly pushing their kidneys closer to failure? Not because of disease, but because of small bedtime habits that feel completely harmless. And here's the terrifying truth. By the time most people realize their kidneys are in danger, more than half of their filtration power is already gone forever. No warning pain, no alarm bell, just silent decline night after night. I'm Dr. Ethan Cole, a kidney specialist who spent over 20 years watching patients walk into my office. Shocked to learn their kidneys have been deteriorating for years, and it all started with what they did before falling asleep. The good news? You can stop it. In this video, I'm going to reveal five nighttime habits that silently destroy your kidneys, and more importantly, how to reverse the damage starting tonight. Stay with me, because once you understand these hidden triggers, you'll never look at your bedtime routine the same way again. Now let's start with the habit most people never question, that small bag of chips, the buttery popcorn, or the quick frozen dinner you grab before bed because you think it's just a little snack. I've had patients tell me the same thing smiling as if it were nothing, but when their blood test came back, the story changed completely. One man, Robert, 62, a retired construction worker, swore he was eating healthy. He'd stopped drinking soda, quit smoking, even walked every morning. Yet his blood pressure was climbing and his ankles were swelling. The culprit, his nightly ritual of just a few handfuls of salted peanuts and popcorn before bed. Here's what really happens inside your body. Sodium, the salt hidden in almost every packaged food, pulls water into your bloodstream. The more sodium you eat, the more your body holds onto fluid. That extra fluid increases the pressure inside your blood vessels, forcing your kidneys to filter harder, like a pump working against a clogged pipe. Over time, that pressure damages the delicate filters inside your kidneys, leading straight toward high blood pressure. And high blood pressure is the second leading cause of kidney failure in the United States. The American Heart Association recommends no more than 1 500 milligrams of sodium a day, but one innocent bowl of buttered popcorn can hit half of that. Add a sandwich, a can of soup, or those low calorie frozen meals labeled as healthy, and you're already beyond the limit before you even go to sleep. So what should you do instead? Keep your evening light and kidney friendly. Replace salty snacks with a small bowl of fresh berries, crisp apple slices, or unsalted almonds. These give you antioxidants and fiber that actually help your kidneys flush waste, not trap it. And before you buy anything labeled light diet or low fat, check the sodium line on the label. That's where the real danger hides. You might think a pinch of salt can't hurt, but for your kidneys, every extra gram adds to years of invisible pressure. Remember the damage doesn't happen overnight. It builds quietly until one day your doctor says the words no one wants to hear. Your kidney function isn't what it used to be. But only knowing this isn't enough because food isn't the only late-night threat your kidneys face. Sometimes it's what you think is healthy that does the most harm. The next habit surprisingly common among people who consider themselves fit can be even more destructive, especially when done right before bed. You've cut back on salt, and that's a great start. But what if the very thing you believe makes you stronger is what's secretly wearing your kidneys down? Every night, millions of people finish their workouts, blend their protein shakes, or grill that lean chicken breast before bed, thinking it's the healthiest choice. Yet for your kidneys, that late-night protein rush can feel like running a marathon while you're trying to sleep. Let me tell you about David, a 58-year-old gym enthusiast. He wasn't overweight, didn't smoke, and prided himself on his clean diet. Every night, right before bed, he'd mix a massive scoop of whey protein into almond milk for muscle recovery, he said. But a few months later, he started waking up exhausted with puffy eyes and dark circles. His lab results told the story his muscles couldn't, his creatinine had climbed, and his GFR dropped by nearly 20%. The reason wasn't his workouts, it was the constant midnight protein load his kidneys couldn't keep up with. Here's the science behind it. When you eat protein, your body breaks it down into nitrogen waste. That waste has to go somewhere, and your kidneys are the only organs equipped to filter it out. During the day, that workload is manageable because you're active hydrated and your circulation supports filtration. But at night, when your body slows down to rest, 
your kidneys should too. Flooding them with protein right before sleep forces them to work overtime when blood flow and filtration naturally drop. Over the years, that nightly strain can quietly reduce your kidney function, even if you feel perfectly healthy on the outside. Now, this doesn't mean you should fear protein. You need it, but you need it strategically. The Journal of Renal Nutrition found that spreading protein evenly throughout the day, rather than eating a large portion at once, dramatically lowers kidney workload and improves filtration efficiency. If you already have diabetes, hypertension, or even early-stage CKD, this balance becomes critical. Instead of 40 grams of protein at night, aim for 15 to 20 grams per meal spread out. Choose plant-based proteins, lentils, tofu quinoa, or lean fish like cod or tilapia, which are easier for your kidneys to process. And never forget, hydration water is your kidney's silent partner in clearing that extra nitrogen waste. If you're unsure how much protein is right for you, don't guess and get tested. Ask your doctor or dietitian for a tailored recommendation based on your GFR and body weight. Your kidneys aren't against protein. They just need you to stop overloading them when they're supposed to rest. You may be thinking, but I'm healthy, I can handle it. The truth is that's what nearly every patient believes right until they see their lab results. And just like that one innocent bedtime shake becomes a slow motion trigger for decline. But only knowing this isn't enough because even if your diet is perfect, there's another hidden behavior that can quietly undo all your hard work. It's not about what you eat, it's about what you ignore. So now you're eating smarter and spreading out your protein, that's great progress. But what if the next kidney killer has nothing to do with what's on your plate and everything to do with what you refuse to let go of? Literally, I'm talking about holding your urine overnight. It sounds harmless. Maybe you don't want to get up in the middle of the night, it's cold. You're tired or the bathroom feels a mile away. But that one small decision repeated over time can quietly set off a chain reaction inside your body that damages your kidneys for good. Let me tell you about Linda, a 64-year-old retired teacher who hated getting up at night. It's just inconvenient, she told me. For months, she ignored that full bladder pressure until morning. Eventually, she developed back pain fatigue and a fever that wouldn't go away. When we ran her tests, the bacteria count in her urine was sky high and her kidneys were inflamed, a classic case of pyelonephritis, a kidney infection that had started in her bladder. It took weeks of antibiotics and hydration therapy to stabilize her, but her kidney function never returned to normal. Here's the science when you hold urine, your bladder becomes a warm, stagnant reservoir, the perfect breeding ground for bacteria. Those bacteria multiply, then travel up through the ureters into your kidneys. Each infection, even a mild one, leaves tiny scars in the kidney tissue. Over years, those scars add up, shrinking your filtration surface area and leading to chronic kidney disease. Studies in clinical nephrology show that repeated urinary tract infections can reduce kidney function by up to 25% in older adults, especially women and people with diabetes. Ignoring your body's natural urge is like ignoring a smoke alarm because it's annoying. The longer you wait, the more damage it causes. Your kidneys depend on proper urine flow to flush out toxins, bacteria, and excess minerals. When that flow stops, even for hours, the waste inside you becomes fuel for inflammation and infection. Here's what you can do. Train yourself to listen to your body again. If you wake up needing to go, just go. Keep the path to your bathroom clear and softly lit at night so you don't hesitate. For those who have trouble waking up, limit large fluid intake two hours before bed, but make sure you stay well hydrated throughout the day. And if you notice burning pain, cloudy urine, or frequent nighttime urges, don't self-treat, get checked immediately. Early detection can prevent permanent scarring and protect the kidney cells you still have. You might think it's just one night, what harm could it do? But kidney damage isn't dramatic, it's cumulative. Every ignored signal is another small injury that never fully heals. But only knowing this isn't enough, because even when you respond to every signal your body gives, there's another one most people don't recognize until it's too late, a sign that shows up not in your bladder, but in your legs. You've learned to listen to your bladder. But what if your body's next warning doesn't come from inside, it comes from your legs? Have you ever been drifting off to sleep only to feel your legs twitch or jerk for no reason or a sudden cramp that pulls you out of bed in pain? Most people shrug it off thinking it's just age or a lack of stretching. 
But what if those restless legs were actually your kidneys begging for help? I remember a patient named James, a 67-year-old retired pilot. He came in complaining not about fatigue or swelling, but about his legs acting crazy every night. He'd kick twist and wake up multiple times with cramps. At first, he thought it was dehydration or his mattress. But when we ran his blood work, his electrolyte balance was off. His potassium was climbing and his GFR had dropped to 52 clear signs of early stage kidney disease. His restless legs weren't random. They were the body's early alarm system, warning that his kidneys could no longer keep his minerals in check. Here's what the science says. Restless leg syndrome. RLS and nocturnal cramps often occur when the kidneys struggle to maintain healthy levels of sodium, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. When these minerals get out of balance, the nerves and muscles in your legs misfire, causing spasms, twitches, or that irresistible urge to move. In fact, studies in the Journal of the American Society of Nephrology found that up to 35% of CKD patients experience restless legs often before they even know they have kidney problems. Ignoring these signs is dangerous. Each sleepless night adds stress to your nervous system, raises blood pressure, and worsens inflammation, all of which push your kidneys closer to exhaustion. It's your body's way of whispering, something is wrong. And when you keep ignoring those whispers, they eventually turn into screams. So what should you do? First, track your symptoms. If your legs are restless more than twice a week, don't brush it off, tell your doctor. Ask them directly about your buin creatinine and EGFR levels. Those three numbers can reveal what your legs are trying to say. Second, check your iron and magnesium intake. Deficiencies in either can intensify RLS. Foods like leafy greens fish and a handful of unsalted nuts can help restore balance without overloading your kidneys. And if you're already managing CKD, avoid self-supplementing. Some over-the-counter leg cramp pills are loaded with potassium that could make things worse. Your legs are like a messenger from your bloodstream. When they can't rest, it's because your kidneys can't either. Ignoring that link is like covering your car's warning light with a sticker. The problem doesn't disappear. You just stop seeing it until it's too late. But only knowing this isn't enough because even when you listen to every signal your body gives, there's still one more nighttime mistake. One so common yet so underestimated that it could single-handedly decide whether your kidneys heal or fail. By now you've learned that your body never lies. It sends clues through pressure movement and even your sleep. But one of the simplest, most overlooked signals of all is thirst. You'd be amazed how many people go to bed every night dehydrated, thinking it's normal to wake up with a dry mouth or stiff joints. And then there are others who do drink before bed, but choose the wrong drinks entirely unknowingly, overworking their kidneys at the very hour those organs are supposed to recover. I'll never forget Caroline, a 70-year-old grandmother who came to me complaining of fatigue and headaches each morning. I drink plenty of fluids, she said. But when I asked what kind, she smiled proudly and said green tea and a little red wine every night. Her test told a different story. Her kidneys were struggling. Her creatinine had spiked and she was severely dehydrated. The caffeine from her tea and the alcohol from her wine were working together to pull water out of her body instead of replenishing it. Here's what's really happening. Your kidneys rely on a steady blood flow to filter waste. When you're dehydrated, your blood volume drops and your kidneys get less oxygen and nutrients. This creates a condition called pre-renal azotemia, a fancy term that means your kidneys are suffocating from lack of circulation. If it happens often enough, that temporary slowdown becomes permanent damage. Meanwhile, drinks like coffee, tea, soda, or alcohol act as diuretics. They make you urinate more further, draining your hydration levels and sugary drinks. They spike your insulin, raise blood pressure, and accelerate kidney scarring. Research from the National Kidney Foundation shows that adults who routinely go to bed dehydrated or consume alcohol or caffeine late at night have a 30-40% higher risk of developing kidney decline within 10 years. Think about that, not from disease or genetics, but from bedtime beverages. So what can you do? Hydrate smart. Sip water throughout the day, not all at once. Two to three liters for most adults is ideal unless your doctor gives you fluid restrictions. Keep a small glass of water on your nightstand and if you wake up thirsty, take a slow sip, not a gulp. Your goal isn't to flood your body before bed, it's to balance it. And when you crave flavor, try herbal infusions like hibiscus or chamomile tea caffeine-free soothing and even slightly kidney protective.
The truth is, dehydration doesn't just dry your throat, it dries out your cells, your blood flow, your entire filtration system. Every night you ignore that thirst, you make your kidneys work harder with less fuel. But when you start giving them what they truly need, gentle, consistent hydration, your energy, your sleep, even your blood pressure begin to change. Because the difference between decline and healing isn't always found in a doctor's office. Sometimes it's right there in your own bedtime routine in the glass you choose to raise before you close your eyes. But only knowing this isn't enough because these five habits, salt protein, holding urine, restless legs, and dehydration are just the beginning. The real question is, what will you change tonight to give your kidneys the peace they've been asking for all along? You've just learned five simple nighttime habits that can quietly damage your kidneys. But remember, awareness is the first step toward healing. You don't have to be perfect. Real change begins with one small decision tonight. Maybe it's choosing water instead of wine skipping the chips or finally getting up when your bladder tells you to. Every small shift adds up to something powerful protection energy and years of life your kidneys will thank you for. If this video opened your eyes or taught you something new, save it and share it with someone you care about because kidney disease is silent until it's too late and you might help someone catch it early. And if you want more clear science-based health tips like this, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you never miss the next video where we break down the latest medical insights into simple everyday steps you can actually follow. Your kidneys work for you every second of your life quietly, faithfully, without complaint. Isn't it time you return the favor? Take care of them. Listen to your body and remember this truth. Your health isn't lost with age. It's rebuilt through awareness, consistency, and hope. I'm Dr. Ethan Cole. Thank you for watching. And until next time, Take a deep breath, stay hydrated, and keep your kidneys strong.